Let's move on to Fraction Basics from Jita Company. What are Fraction Basics? When an object is evenly divided into two each part, then it's called half. Two parts make the whole object. So one by two is referred to as fractions. This is called fractions. So 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1. That's fractions. When an object is evenly divided into 4, it becomes a quarter. 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. It becomes a full 1. That's 1 by 4 is quarter. Let's see a small simplifications in the fractions. 5 divided by 20. So which number is telling both the things? 5 is divided by 5 and 20 is also divided by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So divide by 5 and divide by 5 you will get 1 by 4. On both numerator this is called as numerator and this is called denominator. We have to divide based on a common number which is which can be divided by both numerator and denominator. That's called simplifications. Now I got 2 divided by 4. The common number between these two people is 2. So 2 is divided by 2 and 4 is divided by 2. You got 1 by 2 here. Now I got 3 divided by 15. Sorry, it's 12. 3 divided by 15 is also work fine. So 3 is divisible by 3 and 12 is divisible by 3. So I made it as 3 divided by 3 I got 1 and 12 divided by 3 you got 4. So 1 by 4 is the answer. You got 4 divided by 20. 4 is divided by 4 that's what it can be divided by 4 and divided by 4, that's 1 divided by 5. Now, 2 divided by 8. 2 is divided by 2 and 2 is divided by, sorry, 8 is divided by 2. You got 1 divided by 4 here. 4 into 2 is 8, 1 into 2 is 2. So, 3 divided by 5. So here, you can't divide like 3, under 3, you got 2, 1. So nothing is there and this is equivalent to a number 3 into 2. 3 into 2 is 6, 5 into 2 is 10. 6 divided by 10 is also a number. Because 6 divided by 10 will give 3 by 5. So I made multiply by 3. So 3 into 3 is 9, 5 into 3 is 15. This is not simplification. It's not simplification. This typical example is a simplification of your fractions. And this typical example is not a simplification of your fraction, but it's a reverse process. From here it's simplification. This is not simplification, it's a reverse process. The simplification can be done with the three steps too. The reason is, if the numbers are really big, it is really big. In that case, I'll go with three steps of simplification. So now here, I'm 48 divided by 64. So 48 is divisible by 8 and 64 is also divisible by 8. So I made 48 divided by 8 and 64 divided by 8, I got 6 into 8 is 48, 8 into 8 is 64, I got 6 by 8. Once I am dividing by 2, you got 3 divided by 4, 3 into 2 is 6, 4 into 2 is 8. So, 
48 divided by 64, the output is, the final answer is 3 by 4. Now we will see how to add the fractions. We got 3 divided by 8 and 2 divided by 8. You can see the denominators are same. So, the fractions are the same denominator 8. And 3 8 and adding 2 8 is nothing but the 8 is common between 2. So, add the numerator 3 plus 2 is 5 divided by 8. If the numerator is same, you need to add the, sorry, if, you, if the denominator is same, you need to add the numerators. Thanks for watching our GTEC videos on mathematics. Thank you.